Okay, once your geometry is ready uh, in your document, so what I will do is we will create a uh, daylight. So to create a daylight, uh, we have to switch, uh, make sure that your tab is under create. And there are many actually sub tabs. One is the first one is geometry, second one is shapes. And actually, what the tab we need, the sub tab we are going to use is actually system because daylighting is a kind of system in 3D Studio Max. So here I click daylight, and then it says it is recommended that you are, you use the MR uh, photograph AB15. So and then would you like to change this now? Then I simply say yes, meaning that. Uh, MR means that we are going. We need to use Manta Ray uh, 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 rendering engine because the internally 3D Studio Max uses uh, MR engine to actually calculate the light uh, brightness. So that's why we have to use it. So uh, daylight is selected, and then we need to click twice: one in the top view and later in front view. So at the first under t on top view. I will click uh, the center of the geometry where is the center location of the of a sun and then you decide the size of this symbols orientation symbol which is actually it means the size means nothing just make it uh, large enough for you to select quickly and easily and then I release my left mouse button and then you are creating a, a MR sky then just click yes and actually then you will see that you can control the height of the daylight so this one the location doesn't really matter but just make it uh, just locate it higher than any other geometries so you can select uh, it easily under or on front view or left view so I click I click one more time here so daylight is located here and then as soon as you click twice and then you will see that uh, this one is actually as you will see azimuth and altitude and hour and hours and months, and actually you will see that here location. Then uh, there you will see a button called get location. So I will change the location of the sun to Miami. So if you see this one, just so select the city you want. In case uh, for this class, I will select for your comprehensive studio. I just select uh, Miami for now. So Miami is. Here, Miami, Florida, and then just select OK. So now your location is selected. Just like a uh, rapid uh, shadow studies, you can actually change time here. So this one is 13, 14 p.m. So your job is actually uh, again. We'll, you will do the same thing, but I will explain uh, uh, during the class time. So this one is how to change uh, time, and also you can change the months here too. And then accidentally, if you uh, probably okay, so still daylight is activated, meaning that you you will if you continue to click on a window, you are going to create another sun multiple times unless while the daylight is still activated. So I recommend for you to switch to this one, select object. By doing so, you will deactivate the daylight button. And then I just simply uh, and then. Uh, probably uh, you may want to use this filter you can actually this one only limit you to select geometry this one shapes but I would rather use light so you can only uh, select light so I select uh, unnecessary lights and I will just uh, press delete key button to delete those lights so make sure that you have only one daylight here so this is how to create a light and if you want to change the uh, location after you created one just simply select daylight again and to change some parameters you have to switch from create tab to modify tab then so you will see this uh, this option menu again so here date time location is here to see the sub menu simply click setup then you will see hours months and uh, Miami here one more time so if you need to change location and time uh, just please select uh, setup button if you just and if you, I will just show it one more time. If you release it, you probably don't see any option. If you select it, you will see this option again. So this is how to change, how to create a daylight and change its locations.